drew my clutch and came up big in this one. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phillies Hat Show video cast here, recapping this afternoon's game between the Filthy Phillies and the Washington Nationals as the Phillies defeat the Nationals by a final score of 5-2 as Bruce Herbert was activated off of the 10 day injured list prior to this game and Andrew McCutcheon with the big free on run to give the Phillies a lead as the Phillies uh, hope to uh, get the series win tomorrow with a 1-5 start the rubber match as they grab the second game of three games set. Now guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please join the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. And let's get into this. So, a great victory out of the Phillies today. Andrew McCutcheon with that big three-run home run. I mean, that was just great. He was due, right? I said that before. He was due for that. And Bryce Harper, prior to the game, getting activated off of the 10-J injury list. And he comes back with an RBI single in the bottom of the eighth inning. A uh, nice little insurance run for the Phils. Um, so uh, you just love to see that. Welcome back, Harper. I mean, it was so weird not to see him play. And he is finally back, ladies and gentlemen. Bryce Harper is back. Uh, just feels so nice to see him again. And just like the feel of Phillies baseball is different without him, right? I mean, he just brings so much excitement. Uh, just the, the atmosphere is just different without Bryce Harper. I mean, there's just no question about that. Uh, he's just so fun to watch. Um, but uh, I understand we did win today, but the bad defense continues. I mean, you saw that uh, horrible play that Gene Segura made. I mean, just totally botching that ball uh, on Soda. I mean, that ball was hit fairly hard. I mean, there's no excuses for that. I mean, it just, like, went right on there. I, I just don't understand what happened there. Uh, just totally botched that. And then our opponent with that horrendous throw. I mean, he's been on both sides of the baseball, defensively and offensively. He's not even getting on base. Alpum is starting to really bug me. He really is. He, when, just when you think he's getting hot, and then he just falters. I just don't know what to say about Alpum anymore. Let's just pick up the scoring summary. In the top of the third inning, Juan Soto. Uh, he had a sharp ground ball uh, to Gene Segura. Deflects right off of him and then goes into the outfield. It's just an absolute, just a terrible play. I mean, just a terrible play. And the speedy trade turner comes around to score. And that was an error, like I said before, for Gene Segura. And it should have been. I mean, that ball easily should have been handled uh, by a major league baseball player. I understand we all make mistakes. But, I mean, this that, this Phillies team is just making all these errors. I don't understand it. Uh, for the first you know, couple of weeks of the season, look at it, second base. But uh, it almost looks like he's at shortstop again. I mean, he's just not, a, he's not the best defender. I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, he puts the bottom of the ball up, but he's not the greatest defender in the world. He's just not. Um, you can't argue it. Uh, Gene Segura is not the best defender. Uh, so another defensive blunder for the Phils, and it's now one nothing Nationals. Um, so uh, then at the bottom of the fourth inning, though, Reese Hoskins continues to stay hot as he hits a little blooper uh, into a left center field and uh, falls in front of Victor Robles. And Trey Turney trying to make a little basket catch there. Uh, but to no avail, and Gene Segura comes around to score as the Phillies tie it at one. I mean, uh, great tie again. Anyway, you can't write it. I mean, that wasn't the, the hardest hit ball. It was a little blooper. That, and man, just put the ball in play, and things happen, right? Uh, and, that, and that's one of the you know, testaments to that. You put the ball in play, and things can happen. Uh, not striking out and over swinging, right? I mean, uh, put the ball in play, and things will happen. Um, and uh, then Andrew McCutcheon. I mean, uh, I thought the biggest hit of the ball game. He almost on a fly ball to left center field. I mean, this ball was just, this ball was so high. And I knew it right off the bat. He three on shot. This goes Harper and Hoskins. And the Phillies will take a four to one lead. Good job out of Andrew McCutcheon, right? I mean, uh, he really got good one on that ball. There's no question about that. Four one Phillies lead. I felt pretty good at that point. I did, especially with uh, you know uh, Ranger Suarez, how good he's been. Uh, what you're going to talk about him a little bit later. He has just been dominant. Um, so I felt pretty good at that point. But not having Hector Neris definitely concerned me a little bit in this game. Uh, family does come first, but I mean, uh, it definitely we're definitely at a disadvantage. Not having him uh, today, but you know, win is still a win. And then it's up in the eighth inning, he's struggling. Josh Bell, I guess as of late, he's been hot. Uh, overall, not having the best of seasons. Uh, top of the eighth inning, he homered on a line drive to left field. I knew right off the bat, the ball was a liner. There's no doubt about it. And uh, the Nats now cut the lead in half down, 4-2 to two ball game. I'll tell you what, guy that has really, really bugged me, and that is Jose Alvarado. Uh, this guy's so shaky. He can't locate his pitches. Uh, you saw he hung up all in the middle of the plate, and uh, you know Josh Bell made him pay for it. Uh, he's not hitting those locations. You clearly saw that there. Uh, it just like annoying me. All these walks, I hate 
walking people. I hate it. I hate it. And we walked a ton uh, today. We really did. We walked a ton of national centers. Uh, we really, really did. Um, so uh, we really did, did rank up those walks today. But uh, we still managed to win the baseball game. I give this team a lot of credit. Um, and uh, we all know that uh, in guys like Zach Eflin, Zach Lear, the two Zachs have done a very, very good job in the walk department, not walking a lot of hitters this year. Uh, but for the rest of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the team and the rest of the pitching staff, uh, it doesn't really fall in the same category. It just doesn't. Uh, I mean, it's not like the worst in baseball. We're still walking a decent amount of guys. We just do. Um, but uh, especially Jose Alvarado. I mean, it's just like I hate walking people. I really, really do. Then in the bottom of the eighth inning, welcome back. Welcome back. Bryce up. Bryce up. Every single was on a line drive to center field. And uh, that ball was a rope. A doer comes around to score as the Phillies now get that run right back. Now a 5-2 to two ball game. And that's your final score. The Phillies grab a win here. 5-2 to two, your final as they grab the second game of the three-game series. As they look to win the series tomorrow. 1-5. of five, The first pitch to rubber match. Um, so uh, great to see Hart back in action. Another thing I'm going to talk about. Juan Soto, National Center Fielder Juan Soto. We all know that he uh, showboated that home run last night. And uh, I tell you what, they really let him hear it. I booed. I mean, I, I booed. I'm not going to lie. During the strong lineup, I booed. Uh, you're going to see that uh, video up on Philly's Clips, my second channel. Please go check it out. I always do the strong lineups. Um, and uh, I really booed loud. <laughs> I really did. I think everybody else did. When he got introduced the first time, Dan Baker said his name. Everyone booed. I also booed. And I tell you what, the fans of right field are letting him hear it. They were letting him hear it. was like the one of the fans said it was the Juan Soto hate club out there in right field. I mean, they were just unmerciful to him. Uh, really unmerciful. Um, and I always try to be a little, I try to, you know, be respectful. I don't want to be unprofessional, but I guess I was still chirping, chirping that a little bit. Um, but uh, i tell you what, I mean, one thing he did today, which was just so disrespectful, uh, up at the plate, and there was a call at strike three, and he stood at, he stood there and stared at the umpire for a good 10 seconds. He, uh, when the call strike three, he stood there. He didn't walk back to the dugout. He stood and stared at the umpire for a good 10 seconds. I mean, who does he think he is? I mean, that, that's arrogance at its finest. He stands there and stares at the umpire. I mean, you see, that, that's foolish because later in the ball game, there's a borderline pitch. You know, your team's you know, down one run. I mean, everything counts. I mean, the walk counts. A borderline pitch, umpires probably going to call out a ball because of how you acted earlier. Uh, umpires do not like that at all. And the rest of the crew, uh, you know, the crew season. Um, so whoever's behind the plate tomorrow is going to know what happened there. I mean, it's just like you don't show up and up like that. You don't. Uh, he needs to learn about that. He's only 22, but uh, his <laughs> number 22 is age 22. But, um, but he, he needs to do a better job with that. I mean, there's no question about that. I understand he's, he's young. You have to get in mind he's only 22. Um, so he's, you know, he's a little immature. I mean, he's a kid. He's a kid. Uh, he's, he's, he's not, you know, 36. I mean, this guy's a 22-year-old star. Um, but, uh, I mean, that was just ridiculous. Stands there and stares at the umpire. Like, walk back to the dugout. I mean, that's really arrogant. I, I, that's the only word I can really do. It's just arrogant. Uh, you don't stand there like that. It's just very, very arrogant. Uh, do whatever. I tell you what, this is the kind of guy that puts the ball in play. Uh, he only got one knock today. I tell you what, I mean, that ball, I mean, the first pitch of the ball game that he saw, uh, when first pitch of the Phil's, uh, was rocketed out to right field to Juan Soto. I, I was right on the warning track, and he caught it. But, man, he gave that ball a good ride. Uh, then he had a sharp ground out, uh, and, uh, and then he drew a walk. I mean, that was really nice to see. And then he got that single. I'll tell you what, Duber Herrera has been putting the ball in play. I always talked I talked about it before, how he's not striking out a lot. Um, so uh, that is an example right there. And Gene Segura with another hit, also scored a run. Bryce Harper with that ribby single, which you love to see. Reese Hoskins with that bloop single. Uh, JT, the BCIB, also collecting a knock. And Andrew McCutcheon was only one hit, but it was a big one, ladies and gentlemen. The three-run home run uh, to get the Phillies lead at the time. But Alec Bohm with another hit was the performance. Nick Maton got the shot at short today. A lot of people are uh, a little bit confused and are wondering why Nick Maton hasn't been getting a lot of playing time. Uh, to answer your question, I don't know. I, I really don't. I mean, we all know he's not really legit. I mean, he's just falling off. I mean, he really has. Uh, he's just really falling off. You want to see how much he's falling off? Now batting 255. Uh, now, we all knew when he first came up that he wasn't going to keep uh, that up. And his last seven games, he's going hitless in 11 at-bats. Last 15, he's batting 194. And in his last 30, he's hitting 203 uh, with a 244 on base percentage. That's terrible. I mean, he's just – he's. Uh, we all knew he wasn't going to – I mean, like, I hate to sound like that. I hate the sound. This wasn't legit. I, I knew it. I knew it. I mean, not, at least not yet. 
Um, and I think we all knew it was too good to be true. I think we all knew that wouldn't last. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves. I think we'd be kidding ourselves and we thought the Nick made time was going to keep that up. I really, really do. I mean, that's just like, come on. Spencer Howard, two and a third, one hit. The run was not earned uh, because of that error at two walks and two strikeouts. I mean, man, does Jordy have him on a short leash. I mean, my goodness. I mean, it's just like, I think we need to let him go a little longer. I mean, gee, you think? you got to get this guy more innings. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. I, I don't understand uh, why we're having him on this short, such a short leash. I understand he's young. Uh, but I, I just don't understand his mentality. I really, really don't. Uh, but Ranger Suarez continues to be amazing out of this Phillies bullpen. I, I, and I haven't seen a guy. I mean, this guy has been unbelievable. I mean, nice clean three innings today. Uh, striking out three. Uh, ERA at uh, zero. I mean, it's just like he's been great. I mean, he was good in 2019 out of Phillies bullpen. I think some people forget that. He wasn't good last year, but he was very good in 2019. Uh, but Archie Bradley, not bad today. Uh, Sam Coonrad came in to finish his, uh, he pitched two-thirds in England. Sam Coonrad came in to get that final out. Um, and uh, Jose Alvarado, I talked about it before, very, very shaky. I mean, Jose Alvarado just really drives me crazy. But Connor Brogdon with the save, a 1-2-3, top of the ninth, striking out two. And he struck out. A uh, help fitting right on cue one Soto to end the ball game looking. He struck him out looking. The two down Soto struck out today. He struck out looking. The first one he just was just so full of himself staring down that umpire. Uh, then the second one. He also didn't seem happy on the second one. He also stood there again. Uh, but that I can understand a little bit because he lost the game. But uh, <laughs> you got to swing the bat one. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, the Phillies beat the Nats, and uh, these are two not the they're just two mediocre teams. I think the Nats are worse than the Phillies, but I mean the Phillies are just still not a very good team, right? I mean they're they're okay, they're mediocre at best. Um, but uh, I'm glad we won today. I really, really am. And uh, one thing I like to see, like I talked about before, I like to see Spencer to get more innings. Um, I, I just would. I mean, just I think we have him too short a leash. I'm glad to see Hart back uh, with that ribby single he got. I mean, he hit that ball hard. I mean, now I just gotta get Didi back. Uh, that's the next guy I want to see. I mean, we, we need D, especially with Nick May, Tom Strowman, like I said. I mean, a 244 MVP versus last 30. That's terrible. That's really, really terrible. Um, so we need others to step up. Uh, you know, Ronald Torres has been fine. I mean, he's been fine, but we need DD back. We really, really need DD back. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please the notification bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social media link in the description section. At Felice Hastel of Instagram, TikTok, our finance Instagram. Call or text 267-225-3392. Email me. Phillies has to have at gmail.com. The finale, 105, the first pitch tomorrow. A, uh, to be determined for the Nats, Stevie Martinez, the manager of the Nats, has yet to determine uh, their starter. But uh, Vince Velasquez is going for the Phillies, 2 with a 4 away ERA. He's coming off of a rough start against the Cincinnati Reds. Hopefully he could do, uh, you know, as well as he did uh, six uh, starts prior, right? I mean, you saw his first six starts of the season. He was unbelievable. So hopefully he can put that bad start on him last time he had and uh, be dominant tomorrow. Hopefully, we have six innings. I mean, hopefully we get six things out of him. We get six innings, two hard runs. That's that's good. I mean, that's what we saw in the first two starts. So hopefully that's what we see. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. I am Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phillips. What about the first pitch tomorrow? I'll see you.